Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this video where I'm going to give you a few more tips on how to do well in the essay. So, don't make any spelling, punctuation, and grammar mistakes that you can avoid. You can lose lots of marks if you don't have the correct spelling, punctuation, and grammar. And remember, it just takes two to three minutes to check through your essay at the end and make sure that you haven't made any mistakes. A common error that people make is using apostrophes and commas in the wrong places, so try and watch out for these when you're, when you're writing your essay. Also, don't feel the need to use sophisticated and complex language. For an essay to read well and for you to gain an A for quality of English, you don't need to use sophisticated words regularly. Like I mentioned earlier, candidates often use words that don't add any value, but want to appear intelligent. If there is anything that will work against your favour, then don't use it because the examiner may interpret it as being waffle. Also, don't use lots of cliches and common sayings because they don't add anything to your essay. They're just extra words that reduce your word count and they're often applied in the wrong context, so make sure you know what sort of context you're using them in. Also be careful of using the correct sentence structure. Make sure that you vary your sentence structure by using short and long sentences, but don't use sentences which run on and are unnecessarily long. Longer sentences can often confuse examiners and will make the point you are trying to get across unclear and difficult impact. When you are proofreading your essay, read it aloud in your head. That will make sure that you can identify any sentences which are unnecessarily long. Try and also have a clear structure by using a paragraph to signpost the examiner. So another way to do this is you don't need to leave a line per, you know, per paragraph. You just indent instead, because that will make sure to the examiner that you've got a clear structure. You can really see it. Yeah. And a way you can do this is using trigger words. Now here are some trigger words here. So pause the video and write these down for your own benefit. Okay, now write these down as well. So all these words are really, really useful for your exam and will put you in good stead to show that you have a good structure and really get those quality of content marks. Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all 8 ebooks, click here now.